It is uh, Kat Zingano and Ronda Rousey. And World think, title fight against yeah. Ronda at the peak of her powers. Mm-hmm. And Ronda's in the right mode. You can feel it, and Kat Zingano did that. Ran straight towards, and you see, you feel the panic in her. Mm-hmm. You know, you feel that. And we know instinctively, and they're beautiful, like, the, you know. Ronda's so composed yeah. to capitalize on it as well. And innovating in real time. Yeah. With, and one is panicking, and the other is innovating and improvising in real time. And you see how, you know, and when she's at her best, Ronda is performing yeah. one way, and the opponent is performing another but way. But there's no way Katzengano planned on coming out there yeah. and throwing a flying knee or running, rushing across the cage. That was not part of anything she had ever prepared in the mm-hmm. build-up. There's just no chance that yeah. that was part of it. Because somebody would have said to her, this is not... The, we can't do this. This isn't. This is a you know hail mary, and then she might end up on her back arm barring us. Yeah, yeah. she's she's never done it before or yeah. since. Right, and, and and it's not part of it's not part of what she would have uh, planned to do at all. So her training went out the window a little bit. But it's not even that it went out the window. It never came in the window mm-hmm. in the first place because mm-hmm. it was just that instinctive. The, the stress was building up there. You know, yeah. like it had been building since the fight was was signed. She's yeah. fighting Ronda. You have to remember that was Ronda. Pre the Holly Knockout, yeah. that's invincible Ronda. That's that's the Mike Tyson of MMA, yeah. and, and and you're standing across the cage for her now, right now, and it's it's in Los Angeles in mm-hmm. Ronda's hometown, and and your main event in a, a big uh, a big event and life changing results. Yeah, and, and you built yeah. up to this moment, yeah. and Kat's a really good fighter. Yeah, you know, that's why this stands out because she's outstanding. She beat yeah. Misha Tate in, 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 to to get to that. She beat Amanda Nunes. Mm-hmm. She's an outstanding fighter. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why. That reaction to that moment is—it's—it's it's not a reflection of her so much as a fighter. It's—it's it's a, re- a reflection of maybe the mental prep and yeah. the build-up to that, or the the emotional management, or how, how things had been perceived uh, on the on the night, but also in the build-up, and then it just exploded with that panic. So when when people. Uh, fighters or, or their team or whoever is around them, when they go to explain this later, they stumble onto a term you've heard often um, that I think is somewhat accurate, but I think we can narrow it down proper. But people will perform like that. They'll come back and they'll say, what happened? And they'll say, well, I fought out of character. Yeah. What do you think of that description? It's not enough for me, mm-hmm. you know, because then it's just like that's an anomaly that'll never right. happen again. Well, hang on. We need to figure out why it yeah. happened because you you can't say it'll never happen again. It just happened, so mm-hmm. it, it might happen again and if you leave not if you don't do anything about it. You you now we've got some data here that you can do something about. You've got a lesson staring you right in the face mm-hmm. that you can do something about. That's easier with a loss like that. You review it and you, hopefully you get to the to figure out. Uh, I was I was denying how I was feeling in the build up. Mm-hmm. I was I was I was pretending I was okay and I wasn't. I never mentally planned for mm-hmm. what was going on, what was really in front of me. I was focused on the perception I had of Rhonda and I was focused on the crowd, I was focused on the title, I was focused on the outcome. I wasn't just focused on doing my performance mm-hmm. and, and getting into my fight. All the different stuff. But if you just say it's out of character and it's a, that was yeah. a once-off, because in character I'm I'm not this. Yeah, I'm, I'm awesome. Yeah, but that's just and that's true. Yep. But but we need to we need to make the make the best of this lesson. And that doesn't this didn't just happen. It yeah yeah yeah. There's yeah. there's a lot of reason and and we'll get into other examples. Yeah. But the the thing is, it doesn't need a loss like this for you to take that lesson. Right. You know, you can have that same feeling and get yeah. away with it yeah. and with a win. But if you're being like properly honest with mm-hmm. yourself and really looking to grow, you'll review wins just as yeah. much as you like. That's why I don't like win or learn. I like, I love the book. Yeah, it's awesome. Buy it. Yeah, <laughs> but John's I, like what? <laughs> what? I, Would, uh, you, uh, but I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a really good book. But the the win or learn, it's learn or learn. Right. It doesn't matter if you oh. won or lost. There's always lessons win you can take. Win and learn, or lose and learn, or perform well and learn, or yeah, just, just whatever. Learn and all learn. the yeah. time, to, and 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 really get into Come it. Come on, John. What a terrible name. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually catchy, right? Yeah, I know. And catchy cr- creates discussion. You know, so that's kind of that's a modern way of thinking. Yeah. 